Hey, teacher, are you on mute? The microphone is mute. Thank you. Hello. You hey, how you doing? Welcome, <laughs> welcome. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, of course, one hundred percent. All right. All tell time. me, how was your how was your day today? Good, very good, really what, very good. Because, mm -hmm. uh huh. What did you do today? Um, you know, uh, a long time ago, I want to um connect to air conditioner in the my daughter's room, mm -hmm. and today. Oh, uh, people come to uh -huh, connect oh. to the air conditioner. Yes. It's oh, good. she's going to love the air conditioner. <laughs> yes, of course. Plus, it's so hot. Today was a hot day. Yes. yes. Did you feel the heat today? Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh -huh. Where do you live? Where, where do you live? Um, do you know where is La Torre Futura? Do you know where is La Universidad Evangelica? University? Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, because February, March, and April is hot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Super, yeah. super hot. Yeah. No, the yeah. weather here, the weather here is pretty fresh. It's pretty fresh weather. Good. Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of trees. When, when I grew okay. When I grew up, I buy I buy a house near to near to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I this is not my house. I rent. Uh, I okay. rent. Yeah. I was, Around, around you. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. 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 Uh, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I hope that everybody is doing well. Um, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What vocabulary? What um, what words? What grammar? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Somebody? In, in my case, in my case, I remember about the the past models, bear, mm -hmm. the the must, mm -hmm. the couldn't, mm -hmm. and the should and could. That is correct. That is yes. correct. So, uh -huh. so uh, we use different models to express levels of certainty, right? How certain or how sure you are about something, right? Uh, whether it's uh, something that you have a doubt, for example, uh, maybe she was at home. Mm -hmm. uh, she must have been sick. Uh, she must have gone to visit her family, mm -hmm. right? Those are when you are expressing a certainty in regards to something. Mm -hmm. um, how, who can give me an example of using a certainty with must? Who can give must. me an example using certainty with must? Must. Okay. I must wear uh a lot okay I, I must uh, uh, I must mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, I I must hold on let me see yes yes I must uh work a lot if I want to travel around the world okay in this case that it's mm -hmm. that is not a a model of certainty that is more like an obligation, right? If you, uh, uh huh. For example, if you say, I must pay the bills, right? That's an obligation. Mm -hmm. uh, I must mm -hmm. study English, mm -hmm. that's an obligation. Um, I must exercise. Mm -hmm. to be healthy right that's an well, obligation what 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 mean exercise what exercise, mean? exercise. Oh, oh, oh sorry <laughs> sorry about that exercise exercise okay to be healthy okay. so 
when I am speaking about a modal of certainty, that mm -hmm. is when I want to express, um, for example, if I want to say it, the pyramids, the pyramids must have been built by giants. Uh, right. That's like a certainty. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Or for okay. example, or for example, uh, she didn't go to work mm -hmm. because she must have been sick. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, he didn't mm -hmm. save money mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. he must have paid his father's medical bill. Mm -hmm. Right, something uh, like that. That that's that's more of a of a, a certainty uh, or expressing okay. a certainty. Okay. 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 So now what I would like for everybody to do is we are going to be looking at the platform and I would like for us to go to the next activity. Now for the next activity, we are going to be analyzing exercise number. 3.4 instructions, read each situation and choose the correct explanation. For example, Jane is in a terrible mood today. What is your answer, Alex? Uh, letter D, she could have had a fight with her boyfriend. Right, so that's a speculation. She could have yeah, had yes. a fight with her yes. boyfriend, right? But we don't yes. know, we don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe maybe she's having a bad day because she feels sick. Yes. Uh, maybe she's having a bad day because her mom is sick. Yeah. Maybe yes. she's having a bad day because nobody paid her. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Okay. We don't know. Yes. It's, a, it's a possibility. Yes. It's a possibility. Yes. Okay. Number two, Brian got a call and looked worried. Rigoberto. Mirna Barahona. Francisco Melgar. Uh, good evening. Good uh, evening. Brian got a call and looked worried. Um, probably he couldn't have heard good news. Good he news. couldn't have heard good news mm -hmm. is correct. Thank you, Francisco. Number three, the teacher <laughs> looks very happy today. Elizabeth Garcia. I've gotten a raise. Perfect. He may have gotten a raise. Excellent. Number four, Doris. Teacher, I have, I have a question. Where, where is the meaning of that? Oh, he, he must have, have got a, a raise, yes. Ah, tal vez le dieron un aumento de salario. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, Doris, number four. She must not have gotten enough sleep. Maura <laughs> couldn't keep her eyes open. She must <clears throat> not have gotten enough sleep. Perfect. Number five, Juan Jose. Number five, Jeff was fired from his job. He might not have done his work on time. Excellent. Number six, Katia Monterrosa. My cousin is short of money again. Uh, sorry. He couldn't, uh, she must have spent too much last month. Excellent. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. Now is look at everybody. Look at the exercise. 
Do you have any questions related to this vocabulary? Mm. Questions related to the grammar or the pronunciation? No. All right. Let's look at the next one. The next one is a 3.5 lesson objective. By the end of this session, participants will have learned the use of past models for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical past events. Past models, opinions, and advice. Listen, please. <clears throat> Hi, welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should. All right. So this is giving an opinion. Who can give me another example? In the past. You should have, you should have studied, uh, studied the class from yesterday. Ding, ding, ding. Another example. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, sh you shouldn't have yeah. eaten so much junk food the <laughs> junk food <laughs> uh -huh. yes, yes. no hamburger no pizza no 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 i <laughs> love pizza you <laughs> you should have okay. gone to sleep earlier Early. yes Early. you shouldn't have you sh shouldn't have watched Drunk in the middle of TV week. <laughs> all okay. night. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. You shouldn't have watched TV all night. All right. So for this activity, you're going to give me three examples with the positive should have, and three examples with the negative shouldn't have. And you are going to write the examples here in the discussion forum. Should have told her three affirmative and three negative. An Correct. She thinks okay. that she was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. All right. So you can write an opinion or an advice about a situation at work or a situation in the gym or a situation in your house or whatever misunderstanding in the traffic, in the shopping center, in super selectos, in the bank in the park, whatever. 
you will have five minutes to practice. Five minutes. Write your sentences in the discussion forum. Ready? Let's go. Hello, Anna, are you here? Hi. Are you there? How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, a little bit. Hello. Hello. A little bit. No, uh, I hear you a little bit too. <laughs> you can hear me now. A little, let me see. And uh, what about now? Yes, better. And better. You, you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with the exercise. So, do you want to start? How many examples? Uh, past models for opinions and advice. The three points about six. three three examples. Of course. Hello, Sergio. Hey, hi Elizabeth. Hi, Anna. Hi, Sergio. How are you? Hey, I'm I'm great, and you? Thank you. <laughs> nice, nice to, to hear you sense. again. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to do this. I I I established my connection a few seconds ago, so. Uh, I don't know what 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 do we have to do. Um, we have we have to to do three three examples to advise you should should have or shouldn't have affirmative and negative. Ah, okay. So, do you have something? No. <laughs> okay, I give you um, one of my examples. You should have cooked for her yesterday. Ah, okay. Great. Um, that is only one. <laughs> I should have. I should have. I should have. Complete the sentence. I should have. Um, I should have um, finished my platform. I should have finished my platform. So. I don't know. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have a, a slip um, later. later. What about shouldn't? Shouldn't. I shouldn't have. Okay. I shouldn't. I don't know. I shouldn't. Um, I shouldn't have. Um, um, I shouldn't have. 
I don't drunk. know. Drunk. <laughs> mm. How do you Coffee. say last night? Talk but in past. In past possible. Possible. Of course. Uh, talk in past participle. I I think it's talked. Talk. Talk. Talked. Talk. As at at con I I D at in the Finnish. Thank you. Let me see. I shouldn't have. What is the past participle of drink? Is drunk. Drunk? Drunk. Drunk. Liquor. Drink. <laughs> drunk. Drunk. Coffee. Oh, drunk. You shouldn't have drunk uh, too much coffee. Too much or, coffee. Uh, or you shouldn't have uh, eaten, eaten uh, too much uh, candies. Okay. okay. Or you shouldn't have a uh, drink. Uh, Beer. <laughs> a beer. <laughs> you shouldn't have drunk. you shouldn't have drunk too much beer. <laughs> too much beer. <laughs> or you should uh, you should you should you should have um too much beer. You should have uh, <laughs> wait no Wait is for I, for, uh, uh -huh. for me. You should have waited for me until uh, to 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 go to the party. I don't know. <laughs> Another example. Uh, Sebastian shouldn't have how smoke smoke. I should smoke uh, smoked smoke a cigarette a cigarette. <laughs> mm -hmm. cigarette uh actually fumar is smoking smoking oh, oh. yeah the smoke I D is the finish the smoke you Mm -hmm. Okay. To smoke. You're saying, tú debiste haber cuidado a mi hijo esta noche. ¿Cómo se diría mejor? Como yo. Yo debería. I... You, no. It, it could be you could have cared my new field. Tonight. Or I should have or, taken care. Or you should have. Should have taken. Or couldn't. You couldn't have cared my baby tonight. Uh -huh, or could you? Or about the, the question? Couldn't. Or could you? Are we making question marks? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but the teacher said, said only in the positive way and the negative. And you could use. English is the path of baby shooting. <laughs> Oh, the babysitter should <coughs> have taken care of my nephew. Debería. Mm. Nephew. That's the correct way to, to write nephew. <laughs> N-E-P. 
F E W. I'm not sure. Like this or not? Yeah, I think. But this is more letter for me. <laughs> N E P H E W. I couldn't, I couldn't attend like the class. The, <laughs> the oh, time. Day. I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't have. Come. We couldn't have a start. We oh, starting. Have a starting. Started the class. My class, my, my English class on time. The class on time. <laughs> I say, I say we because all we <laughs> were late. <laughs> Oh, the time is over. All right, let me have one volunteer. Give me your examples, please. One volunteer, give me your examples, please. Me. All right, Elizabeth, give me your examples. You should have cooked for her yesterday. Perfect. Excellent. Another example, Elizabeth. Okay. You shouldn't have drunk beer. Perfect. Elizabeth, one more example. Of course. Uh, Monica shouldn't have taco to my boyfriend. Oh my God, Monica's a bad girl. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very good. Select somebody, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> we, Alexander. Alexander okay. Munoz. Give me okay. three examples, Alexander Munoz. Okay. I should have called my mom every day. Okay. I shouldn't have drunk in the middle of the week. All right. I should have gone to sleep early every Perfect. day. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Select somebody, Alexander. Okay, Omar. Omar. All right, Katya. No, Katya's with her son. Doris. Marcela. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, Marcela. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> She should have dressed formally for her interview. Okay. And she shouldn't have drunk a lot of beer last night. Okay. And you shouldn't have been laying all day. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Looks like everybody understands the topic. Let's go ahead and move forward. We're going to look at the following activity, which is going to be activity 3.7. Instructions. Complete the conversations using past modals with the verbs given. You may use could have, would have, should have, or it's negative. Do not need to type everything, only the past modals with the verbs in its correct form. For example, number one, no capital letters and no periods needed. I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. 
Well, he dressed neatly. He could have could have dressed. Should have neatly. should have dressed neatly. All right, you're gonna finish two, three, four, and five. You will I guess it's true. Okay. You will have five minutes to complete and then we will check it together. Okay. I don't have my computer, so can you share the screen, please? Yeah, okay, let me a Mm. Yeah, yeah. You have start John Johnny. Uh -huh. Johnny. You have start joining. Johnny. Yes. He I to should wear ask, something nicer. I should ask him to wear something nicer. What do you think, teacher? I wrote wood. <laughs> and it's correct for me, I don't know. But you should <laughs> maybe what do you what do you think, teacher? <laughs> what is the correct answer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I believe that it should because you know it is an obligation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or not. But I, I wrote good and it's correct for me. <laughs> the platform. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you choose um, to <laughs> You should have asked. Give me a just to double check. Oh. Oh my God. T O O L D. T O L D. Uh huh. No, L D. 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 L D. D. Yes. Uh huh. You have a toll. Check. Well, wow. Okay, next. <laughs> well, well. I... Well, no, I don't understand. Um, you put in the sentences. You have started journey. What is the meaning yes. journey? Ah, oh, is the yes, the verb right. journey journey. Yes, see. Okay. Both okay. Test, I think. Both the start, I think. Correct. Yes, yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. That is correct. Both the start. <sighs> like, okay. do you understand? I'm sleepy. I'm tired. Go home. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. So can you read the, the sentences, Marita, and we okay. compare the answer because I did the, the exercise too. Yes, yes. And you, uh, Juan, did you did uh, did you do the exercise? Uh, no, I was um, uh, started okay, uh, okay. the first sentences, uh, the first and second sentences, and um, but you did you finish? <laughs> yes. Okay, but we can read. Yes, yes. Okay, number, I, I think I, I, um, oh my God. All right, let me have Doris, number one, please. Doris, number one, please. I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. Well, he should have dressed a nerd. I nearly <laughs> neatly neatly okay neatly. I'm sorry okay. neatly very good very good neatly okay excellent let me have Marvin colleagues number what two is the meaning, what is the meaning of neatly and neatly is ordenadamente right porque él llegó con pantalones rotos right so he should have dressed neatly like very nice. Messy is como desordenado. Messy. He looks so messy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me have colleagues. Marvin, number two. Okay. I would have asked him to wear something nicer. I would have asked him to wear something nicer. Perfect. The next one, please, Ivania. Ivania okay. Romero, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, number two, right? Yeah. John borrowed my car and dented. When he returned, he didn't even say anything about it. He should have told you. He should have told you. Perfect. He should have told you. Excellent. The next one, let me have Elizabeth Garcia. Well, I... I wouldn't have lent in it to him in the first place. He's a terrible driver. Perfect. Excellent, Elizabeth. Number three, Sergio. Hey, okay, teacher. Number three. Um... I'm exhausted. Mary came over and stayed until 2 a.m. She shouldn't have stayed so late. Shouldn't have stayed so late. Excellent. She shouldn't have stayed so late. Perfect. 
the next one, please. Uh, let me have Juan Jose, number four. Okay. Um, uh, you should have started journey. Maybe you should have gotten the hint. Oh no, excuse me, number? No, that's right. You should have started okay. yawning. Yeah. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. Perfect. Okay. Number four, please. Elizabeth Garcia. Tom invited me to a play, but I ended up paying for <laughs> us both. Uh, <laughs> uh, wouldn't I wouldn't have paid for him? Okay, I wouldn't have paid for him. Very good. Repeat after me. Invited. 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 Very good. Invited. Invited. Okay. The last one, Alexander Munoz. Okay. He shouldn't have invited you if he was short of money. Very good. He shouldn't have invited you if he was short of money. money. Is correct. What happened here? Uh -huh. Teacher, I have a problem with, with the letter B for the the number three. And I try in different way and all give me incorrect. You have to add Joe. Good, cool, good. All of them are incorrect. For oh, the yeah, there it is. You, you had to incorporate the word yawning. Yes. Okay. That's the verb. Yes, this is the key. Mm -hmm. Incorporate the uh, word. Oh, in the in the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and report this. Okay. I'm going to report it for technical support to fix it. Sorry about that. All right, let's look at 3.8. In this class, participants will learn nouns for discussing reactions. Vocabulary reactions. Everybody repeat, reactions. 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 Excellent. 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 Excellent.
A, a suspicion. A warning. 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 All right. Now, for this activity, you are going to match the reaction to the example. For example, if you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend. That is an assumption, right? Maybe he doesn't need to find a new girlfriend. Maybe he needs to find a new job. Or maybe he needs to buy a new car or get a new house. You never know. So you're going to give me one example expressing an assumption, expressing mm -hmm. a criticism. I bet you were out with another woman, mm -hmm. right? Maybe he was not out with another woman. You could say, I bet you were out, out with your friends. Mm -hmm. Or... I bet you were out with a coworker. Whatever the case may be. A demand. You can be so inconsiderate. Right? Or you could be so impatient. Or you could be so selfish. Or something like that an excuse you'll probably forget our anniversary too any questions about this activity really i have a Only many questions we, because <laughs> we do the match the letter with the numbers correct okay are you i ready? have a yes Yes, Marcella. Uh, why, in some words, do you, do you, did you say, uh, for example, A, in the other words, you say, ah. Ah, uh, yes. When it's, when it's followed by a consonant, we say A. When it's followed by a vowel, we say ah. Short and long sound. Do you understand? But but what happened with the a warning? Warning is a consonant. It's not no. a vowel. No, a is a vowel. Wa wa. It's a vowel sound. Ah. Uh, wa. Yeah, that's a vowel <laughs> sound. Wa wa. It's a connected sound. Mm -hmm. Because you says a uh, criticism. Ah, criticism. A criticism. A ah, criticism. A criticism. A, criticism. Ah. a demand. An excuse. A prediction. A suggestion. suggestion. That's right. Another okay. question? Okay, let's practice. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Um, we are going to uh, relate the ex uh, example of the teacher. Yes, okay. we have okay. too much. Can you see the screen? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, I I select the the next exercise because it's the same. Okay. Okay, number one is, if you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. What do you think that is a assumption, a great seems, a demand? Do again. If you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. Yeah. 
um, could be a prediction, and I don't know if um, um, could be prediction, but I don't know uh, what is a warning. Yeah. Is warning. What is what is the meaning of warning? It's like uh, um, how do you say? Like a uh, Advertencia. Uh -huh. Advertencia. You do it. I will, I could be a warning in then. Yeah, yeah. In that case, it's a warning. Okay. Okay. Number two. I bet you were out with another woman. I bet you were out with another woman. And attention, a criticism. A criticism, right? Man, an excuse, a predictions, a suspicion. That is a suspicion. A suspicion, right? Yes. But suspicion is suspenso, right? Um. Or what is suspicion? Suspicion is um, sus suspecha or oh, 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 no. ah, okay, 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 suspecha, right? Okay, yes, she she uh, is suspicion about him, right? All right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? I finish. All right. Let me check number one. What is number one? All right. Who can give me the answer for letter number one? Javier? Okay. Is is a warning in the, All right. in the exercise. Uh-huh. If you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend. It's a warning. A warning. All right. Um, number Number 2. Uh-huh. I bet you were out with another woman. Uh-huh. Uh, so a suspicion. A suspicion. Okay. Uh, let her see. Hey. Number three, you can be so inconsistent. How do you say inconsiderate? Inconsiderate. Inconsiderate. Huh? I don't. I don't. I don't. I can say the uh, critic. Critic. Hey. How do you say? A How do you say, teacher? A criticism. A criticism. Criticism. A criticism. You can be so inconsiderate. That's a criticism. All right. The next one, D. The next one. Uh huh. Letter you D. You will probably let it. Oh. Uh huh. A prediction. A prediction. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. A prediction is correct. Okay. The next one. E. It's a demand. A demand. A, a demand. demand. A demand. The next one. F. An assumption. An assumption. You must have wanted to break up with me. An assumption. The next one, you know, you ought to buy me flowers. A suggestion. A suggestion. <laughs> a suggestion. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. An excuse. An excuse. An excuse. Perfect. All right. Any questions? No question. All right. No question, teacher. Let's go ahead and move forward. 310, vocabulary exercise. Instructions, Megan's boyfriend forgot her birthday. How does she react? 
choose the best examples with the reactions. For example, if you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. A warning. A warning. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Number two, I bet you were out with another woman. A suspicion. A suspicion. A suspicion. <laughs> Number three, you can be so inconsiderate. A criticism. A criticism. A criticism. A criticism. You will probably forget our anniversary too. A prediction. A prediction. A prediction. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. Demand. A demand. A demand. A demand. A demand. A demand. <laughs> you must have wanted to break up with me. An assumption. An assumption. An assumption. An assumption. An assumption. Number seven. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. A suggestion. A suggestion. A suggestion. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. An excuse. An, An excuse. excuse. An excuse. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Correct. 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 Any questions? No. All right. Let's look at the last one before we go. How serious? Oops. Oh, you got to do the midterm tonight. Teacher. Hi. And the last the last activity for the for the section 3 is this one. For the reading? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It's Jeffrey. not the, the, the question is not according to the 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 reading, the text, the paragraph. Okay, let's I check see. it out. Let's check it out. It says how serious is plagiarism? Recently a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized parts of a major project, she okay. gave them failing grades. Although this was the school's policy, the students' parents complained. The school board directed Ms. Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire 1,800 points. Ms. Pellington resigned in protest. Why did this become such a significant story? Okay. And this is today, the town of Silver Cliff has a population of 1,000 people. Is that in there? Does it say anything about 1,000 people? No. No mention. No mention. I don't know. The miners saw flame like blood light on top of each grave. Blood light. What the? And the reading is about play. Edward Plagiaris. Suggested very strange in other lights. There were actually reflections of light on the town. There was no evidence of radioactivity. The lights were from the helmet of a dead miners. You are. Truly, truly correct. Okay, let me report this one. Maybe it's the ghost book. I don't know. Yeah, could be the wrong one. <laughs> it's all right. I'll report it to technical support. You're right, guys. So uh, right now, just so you can move forward, number one is fact. Okay. Number two okay. is fact. Fact. Okay. Number three is fact. Okay. Number four is opinion. opinion. Number five is fact. Number seven, number six is opinion. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll report that. And we got to go, guys. Please finish the midterm exam. Tomorrow okay. we start section three. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.